Hello fine folks, my name is Nick and you're watching Played by the Dev. Today we're looking at Osmudo, which I created in 10 days for a game jam called Retrograde Jam 4. For Osmudo, I was inspired by the arcade game Joust. If you've never played it, it's an arena game where you ride a flying ostrich and try to knock enemy riders off of theirs. It has really strange slippery controls and it's a lot of fun to play. So in Osmudo, I took the gameplay concept of Joust and reimagined it as an open world creature collecting game. So enough preamble, let's get into it. Alright, so I pretty much haven't played this since I created it last year, so let's just see what we can do here. Park young one, I sense Osmudo prowess in you. Go down the hill and capture an Osmu. They're flighty, you'll have to sneak up on it. Hold S to sneak, press A when you're close to catch it. Yeah, so the idea in here is that you don't start with the bird at all, you have to capture them. So here's some Osmus that are in the valley. If you run up, they just fly away. So what you have to do is sneak up on them. So I'm sneak in, sneak in, and I got one. So now I've got my Osmu, so now I can fly around. But I can only fly as much as I have stamina, which you can see up in the UI. And if you stomp on an enemy, you get a tip of stamina back. And if you stand on the ground, you also get your stamina back. Alright, so let's see. Should I go right or left first? I'll go right. Ah, shoot. I got knocked off my bird. But now that this bird is, like, my bird, I don't have to sneak up on it anymore. He's just around. And he'll wait for me. Alright, let's talk to this person. Be careful! This field is crawling with mublets! If you stomp on them with your Osmu, it will regain some stamina, though. That's right, so here we go. Stomping, stomping. Oh, shoot. <laughs> it was just a game jam, so it's not... The hitboxes aren't tuned to perfection or anything. You got an Osberry. Feed it to a registered Osmo in the menu to increase one of its stats. Well, let's get the heck out of here. So yeah, this was the other feature of this game, is that you can... The Osmo that you've collected in your flock, you can feed them Osberries and increase their speed stat, their Flap stat and their stamina. I don't remember what. I think flap is how much height you gain per flap. Speed is how fast they move left and right, and then stamina is number of pips of stamina. I'll increase flap. Yeah, so we can go a bit higher than we used to be able to. And you can capture more than one Osmo and have your flock uh, be a little more. The idea was that you could catch multiple Osmu and upgrade them in different ways, and then you could have them different Osmu for different situations. So this one's mine too. Oh, he's got a ton of stamina. Uh, oh, but I haven't... That's right. So this is just a wild Osmu, and he won't stick around even though I have captured him for reasons that we'll figure out later. But for now, he's really a very good bird. Alright, and now we get to the actual jousting part of the game. You there on the Osmu, shall we partake in an Osmudo duel? If you can best me, you'll be rewarded. Explain. Osmudo is the art of dueling while mounted atop Osmu. The rules are simple. The first person to leave their Osmu's back loses. If you hit your opponent from above, they are dismounted. So, are you ready to duel me? So yeah, this is pretty much the same rules as the arcade game joust at this point. Let's duel. Excellent. Have at you. And now it locks into a sort of looping arena like this, where... Ah, he got me. The duel is over. A valiant effort, but I prevailed. Let us have a rematch when you are prepared. Oh, shoot. Did I just lose my good Osmo? No, he's still here. <laughs> Let's try that again. I'm pretty sure I can beat him. So, all I have to do is hit him from above, and not let him hit me from above. stamina. Give it a second. So the original Joust game did not have this stamina concept, so it plays a little differently. You have to be a little more, uh, you know, patient. The duel is over. 
I am impressed. Twas some fine Osmudo. As promised your prize, I would enjoy a rematch any time. You got three Osberries. That is good stuff. Okay, I want to use these Osberries on the Osmo I'm riding now because it's a really good one. But I cannot actually because it is a wild Osmo still. So I need to actually get a... I think it's called an Osmo Stone to be able to register it. So I, the game started me out with one so I could get that first Osmo, but to register this one I'll need to go find another one. So I'm going to do that. And try not to lose this Osmo in the process because, yeah, it's got amazing stats. There's my old Osmo. I can call it at any time and it'll come to me, but... So I'm just going to leave it there for now. Safe and sound. Amazing, you caught one. You can dismount the it won't run away now that it's tamed, because it's your first one that registers your Osmo Stone automatically. That means you can call it back if you get separated or more. Okay, so yeah, that's the what I was just talking about, and I do not need more tutorials because I made this game. Let's explore in this direction. Some places an Osmu won't go in, like this cave. You'll have to dismount with S and go on foot. You won't be able to call an Osmu from inside either. Yeah, so as a game developer, I tend to like the idea of games that have multiple modes, multiple modes of gameplay. So like in Chico, for example, you can do different actions while you are pushing the walnut versus not pushing the walnut. So in this game, I designed some areas where you have to go on foot and deal with your character's pathetic one-block jump height and inability to fly, or hurt enemies at all, so these are now fairly dangerous since I don't have my odds moves so I'm going to have to time this jump well. Okay. Yeah, we got little fishies here. an Osmo stone. While riding a wild Osmo, open the pause my need to register it. Okay, so I will escape this cave and I will go register that shoot <laughs> that wild Osmo that we found earlier. Oh boy. Okay. I did so well getting in here. Oh, ow. Total concentration activated. Stamina more. I'll upgrade stamina twice more. Okay. So this bird is pretty stacked now. Ooh, another chest. Oops, ran out of stamina. Another Osberry, okay. Maybe we'll give him more fun. Now there's pretty much nothing else to do since this was a game jam except for get up here. Congratulations, you made it out of the valley. You must have a strong bond with your Osmo. If this was a full game, you'd have beaten the tutorial and have a whole world to explore. Alas, it's just a game jam. Hope you had fun. Yeah, and that's pretty much it. So that was Osmudo. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, I have not committed to ever turning this into a full game, but I think it's a fun concept, and I could definitely see myself doing it someday. So if you think that would be fun or interesting or something you'd like to play, comment down below and let me know. Otherwise, if you want to download Osmudo and play it yourself, the link is also going to be in the description. It's free, it's on itch.io. Um, until next time, this has been Played by the Dev. 